All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. And you know, I was on a, I got up early this morning, like four or five o'clock in the morning, whatever. My sleep's all screwed up from working graveyard. But I saw this thing on, I was checking my wrestling stuff out on social media and all that. And I saw this thing on Sting on uh, Facebook. And they they did an interesting thing on Sting. It was five things that you, you never knew about Sting. And uh, there were some things on there that I, I never knew. I never knew that he wrestled in 99 WCW pay-per-views. So it was interesting. So if you get a chance to check out the five things that you never knew about Sting, it might be on WWE.com. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, point being on this, they came to one of the segments where they said, well, you never know when there might be a WCW one night stand pay-per-view. And I got to thinking about this and I'm like, well, shit, that's actually cool as hell. They should rip off a pay-per-view and they should do a pay-per-view you know um like maybe in june or july or, or something like that or maybe even do it one of the fall months where wwe is real slow and do a wcw one night stand uh pay-per-view special on the wwe network i mean you still have some guys there in the wwe who wrestled in wcw where you could pull this pay-per-view off and, ha and you could get the original wcw announcers you know tony Schiavone and uh, mike Tanay, and i don't know if mike Tanay is still under contract with TNA or whatnot, but you could still pull this off. You'd get Tony Schiavone, who's active on a lot of the DVDs, and I'm sure he'd do it if you paid him enough. Um, you know, you could get uh, Scott Hudson. I don't know what he's up to these days. You could get the original WCW refs like Nick Patrick. You know, you could theme the ring, like how they used to have the giant WCW logo in the middle of it. Um, you could get Sting and maybe even Big Show in a main event it, like they used to do on WCW pay-per-views. You could probably call Vader you know have him c come and uh make a special appearance you can call sid you know a lot of these wcw guys you know used to uh or are available for bookings and stuff you know you know you could get a ton of old wcw guys i'm sure you could call brutus you know he does all the fan fest you can call hacksaw he does a fan fest you know you can call a virgil teddy biasi a lot of these guys are still active um with the fans you can call a ton of these guys who used to do wcw stuff get a pay-per-view together and do WCW one night stand. I mean, it makes sense, right? They did ECW one night stand. So why not have a WCW one night stand? And then, uh, I mean, I don't know how many people would be interested in this. I don't know how many people would care about this, but shit, I'd watch it. I'd mark out now being the old school WCW fan. Just, just one time. It's actually a really good idea. Throw it together, WCW one night stand. I'm curious to get your guys' thoughts. And would you watch it? Would you care about it? Let me know on this one, uh, whether it's social media, you know, uh, Vincent Flair Facebook, Gemini 8 Day Twitter. You guys are here on YouTube. Message me. Very curious to get you guys' opinions on a possible WCW one-night stand. Thanks for listening. I'm Gemini. Have a good one.